Hey Guru Nation, how's it going? Really quick video I wanted to do today for the sites out there and especially the people looking to start sites with new PIs or maybe looking to start new partnerships with principal investigators. From the 16 years I've been doing this, I've noticed a trend and yes, it's anecdotal, but isn't that what this channel is about? It's about my experiences in the greater context of clinical research and then the process helping you maybe learn a little bit better about, at least through my experiences. From my experiences, when you partner with physicians, one of the biggest determinants of successful partnership, meaning will the business relationship actually succeed, is the physician ego, okay? And of course the site owner ego also plays a factor but I'm assuming you can control, if you're the site owner, I'm assuming you can control your own ego and not let that be a liability, but you can't control the egos of partners, right? And when it comes to physicians, physicians have a range, just like everyone else. It's high ego versus humility on the other end. For my experiences, the best partnerships, the best partnerships, the most successful partnerships have been with more uh, humble doctors. They don't have to be Mother Teresa or Gandhi or anything like that, but they definitely need to understand that the success of the research, while the PI is the most important part of a research study, I argue it's the coordinator, but obviously the PI is responsible for the conduct of the study at the site. The success of the study actually depends on everyone else besides them because if you're doing research the right way the pi is just going to remain a physician they're just going to maintain safety oversight of their patients they're just going to ideally continue seeing their patients in the private practice and then the coordinator and the support staff is really who's running the show so if the pi understands this and they're willing to put in and the, and they realize that hey just because they're a doctor doesn't mean anything really when it boils down to a successful research site. Those are the ones that tend to do better as far as partnering with, whether it's equity partner or contractor, I don't care. They tend to be better PIs, doing their own trainings, listening to feedback from monitors, listening to feedback from you, the site owner, the, the study coordinator, the site director. Um, just doing the little things, right? Not being uh, stubborn in the sense that I'm a doctor so I know everything that there is to know about research when most times they don't they know maybe they know everything about being a doctor but not about research research, research is very different so just something quick I wanted to share with the site owners like there's no test there's no scale you can do to assess the level you know where on the ego spectrum your potential physician lies on but it's a gut. This is where you got to go with your gut. This is where you got to trust your instincts. And it doesn't mean it can't work out with somebody with high ego. It's just that my opinion and from my experiences, it's a higher likelihood of failure. The more, the bigger the ego the PI has. Hopefully this, especially early on, especially early on. Now there's cases where the PI start out humble and then they get an ego because now they're learning about research and now they're, you know, they're, they're getting more confident. They're leveling up. If you like role playing games on video games, it's like leveling up your character. So they feel more confident as they level up. They start from more humble to more, you know, on the ego side. That's generally okay too, because by the time they get to the ego side, the business is rolling already. The danger there is do they need you anymore as a partner? That's all another podcast. We're going to do tons of podcasts on this topic. But just my experiences. I'm lucky in Arizona here. I found a doctor who's on the humble side of the spectrum. And I have a feeling. And you're going to watch. You're going to follow me. Because I'm starting a startup site from scratch. Research Naive PI. Research Naive staff. Except me and Chris. But Chris is not in Arizona. He's in California. You're going to be able to see how we grow. Um, but just some thoughts I wanted to share based on my experiences with clients and my own experiences. Hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully it helps somebody out there. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.